Welcome back to Storage Chasers. Yes, if this is your first time visiting, we are storage unit buyers and resellers. So if that is your thing, you have come to the right place. So stay tuned. Follow that adventure. Welcome to Storage Chasers. Yes, we have won another unit. We've got truck, we've got trailer. We're gonna be heading out on the road to go pick up uh, a little unit out in uh, Florence, uh, South Carolina. Uh, we do have a small problem. It's actually a really large problem. Uh, our trailer is still loaded up from the flea market <laughs> yesterday because uh, we haven't unloaded it yet. So I have to get everything out. So I have to set up a tarp over here get everything out line it all up and then cover it all up and then we can go and pick up this other unit so i've got at least a half hour's worth of work to get this stuff out <laughs> before we can even get on the road but we got gloves we got a little bit of energy we're going to get this done and uh, we will see you when we get to our destination all right we have made it to our location we are uh we won this one on uh, storageauctions.com. This is at a U-Haul facility, as you can tell by the white walls and the orange doors that say U-Haul on them. And uh, we won this one for 250 bucks out the door after all applicable fees, 245. Yes, that's what it is. We got bid up on it, but we'll see. Um, pictures. All right, we saw this. It had this uh, roaster pan box in there. It had like a mini fridge up front, a filing cabinet. Um, the other pictures are going to be blurry, I think, but it's like a, a box spring and maybe a table or something in the back. So that's what we got to look forward to. And uh, we are going to get it all emptied out as soon as possible. <laughs> so let me get back to this one here. So this was the uh, picture that we saw, and here is the live. So yeah, there's our Mr. Mini Fridge, a filing cabinet, a box spring, and there's some boxes here. Not a whole bunch. Should be a nice, easy load for us. Looks like uh, some interesting stuff. But we're going to get this emptied out, and uh, we'll see when it's empty. All right. Unit uh, 1651. Emptied out. Wall to wall to wall to door. Done dealio. That all metal stuff there is part of the framing of the building because this is like a two-story jobby here. So you've got levels down here and then you go to the end and then there's a stairwell going up to get to units that are up on the top level. So it's kind of unique and they got good uh, good stacking <laughs> uh, of their areas here. So that's us. Done deal. All right. We're going to head back out of here now if the alarm's going off again. And we will see you when we get back to our home base operations. All right, we have made it back to our home base of operations. And we have to get all this stuff out and get it videoed for you. And then we have to get all of this stuff back in the trailer so that we can take it to the flea market tomorrow, hopefully. But we got wind kicking up and ugly clouds coming in. And it is supposed to rain tonight for a couple of hours. And then supposedly be clear for us to sell at the flea market in the morning. But we'll see. But I'm going to get this emptied out right now. All right, we got everything that was uh, out here for the flea market, except for those two last things. In the trailer, started loading some up, some more Christmas stuff to take to the flea market as well. Still have a canopy that I have to add in here, but I'm using it. And one more rack. But yeah, we're going to get into all this cool stuff that we got in this unit. So, we got bed rails. May not be exciting for some of you, but we do uh, sell these at the flea market. You can get a few bucks for them. Uh, but we do have uh, hopefully one good set in here that will go with this. Uh, I thought it was a queen size, but now I'm thinking it may be a full, uh, full size box spring. It's kind of queen size ish, but I think it's more of a full. We'll see. But uh, yeah, we got that. That's kind of cool. Uh, this was the mini fridge that you saw in the in the front of the unit. Uh, we are already cleaning it up so that we can. Get it plugged in, test it, and hopefully list it. This is one of them cooler ones. It's got a separate freezer door and refrigerator door. It's a, it's a hair. needs to be cleaned on the outside. Right now we're just doing the inside, so i got to leave it open so that uh, it can dry. But yeah, 
not a bad little uh, unit we've uh, just sold one almost exactly like this for like 80 bucks just this past week so hopefully this one will go good too uh filing cabinet we will list this but i don't think uh there's gonna be a whole bunch of interest for it oh there's some stuff in there uh we've got some colored paper and uh looks like some pencils some post-its and index cards looks like a couple pencil sharpeners back there that's kind of cool thought it was empty because the other drawers are empty so it's empty and empty except for down here so yeah color construction paper voila that may be good for a uh, project that my wife does at the uh, church with the kids connect so yeah that's a plus this was the big one here uh, a magic chef chest freezer i mean this thing was pretty clean uh, we did a little wiping down in there, but this thing is like practically brand new. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we are going to uh, hopefully get some, uh, most of our money back on the unit from this. But uh, yeah, we will look it up and uh, shut the door as I can see it. It's uh, yeah, it's one of these here. I'm trying to don't have my glasses on trying to see bop, 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 if it shows what size it is. Uh, I want to say it's going to be like a seven cubic foot uh, chest freezer. So that could be a good thing. Uh, not quite sure what this little wire is going to the door here for. Maybe it has a light in it or something. Uh, yeah. Well, there is a light in the door. So that'll... That's got to increase the value, right? <laughs> if it's got a light in it. Uh, this looks a little bit bigger than the one that I have that we have listed for sale right now that we got from another unit. And we're, we had that one for like 150 so I'm hoping 200 225 is probably where I'll list this one, providing it works. We, have, we do have to test it. And we only test it by putting bottles of water in the top and in the basket and see if it freezes within, uh, like I think it's two hours or something. Some people say, well, you should buy, get a box of ice cream and put ice cream in there and test it that way uh i think that's a waste of ice cream so no but you know if you want to put ice cream in it once you buy it you're more than power to you so next we've got this was in the back corner it's like a tv stand it's got one glass door here it needs this glass door uh, i guess reattached or not i think it looks better without it but it has it has built in like surround speakers like up in here and over here and it's got this weird name uh bella digital so it's a bella tv cabinet so maybe if i take both doors off or something it's got two shelves which is cool and it's got a big open hole here which we always like that but yeah with the controls on the front here and uh it's got little like power amplifiers back here one on one on each side over here with the it's got some gizmos or wires or something here. I don't know what it's got, but it's got stuff. And uh, yeah, <laughs> looks like speakers and wires and wires and wires. So we will uh, we will look more into this and see if this is something that we can, you know, hook up and test the speakers. Uh, we're gonna have to clean it up a little bit more. It's got been cleaned up a little, but on the screens, I'm hoping these pop off or something. Yeah, here we go. So we can there we go so we've got to clean in inside there and clean these off so that they look really nice doesn't say bows or nothing does it no but it does have like a little numbers on there so that's kind of cool so it'll show in the screen right here yeah all right so we've got that going for us let me uh move on because that'll take me too long with one hand anyway this is the last of the stuff we got this uh, cool little table here uh wipe drawn down she's uh, looking pretty good got a couple of deep gouges in it that didn't discolor the paint i don't know if the camera's doing them justice but there's a pretty good gouge here if you see where my finger's at i can't see it on the camera but yeah there's some gouges there it's got a couple of little flip up sides so it makes a nice round table or a nice little entry table that's a nice piece so uh yeah i'll get uh, that cleaned up and posted on the old park marketplace Ugh. All right, getting down here into it now. Um, we got some, we got some clear dishes in a box with the uh, the old lock. We cut off the unit. I'll look in here in more in depth, but I'm thinking it's glass. <laughs> this one also sounds like glass, so 
if that was the bigger if this was like plates maybe plates and bowls in this one you know i have a knife on me <laughs> as usual all right so we will open this up it's like a real unboxing on a storage unit video wow all right so let's do this and this and this and more plates and some cheapy cups and these are glass cups with uh, grapes on them it looks like so yeah and then here's some uh littler plates and some little bit bigger plates and uh i think it's more cups what's in here it's a surprise and nope even smaller plates so i got small plates and then i got slightly bigger plates and then slightly bigger plates these ones have little dimples around them then the big ones i've got all flat ones here I don't think any of these had dimples around the edges of them. So, yeah, got a bunch of useless dishes that won't go nowhere. Next, we got this box here, and it is a box of books. But, you know, some stuff like this, we will be able to give this away to a kid that will really use it. And then we've got other things that we may be able to try to sell on eBay. This looks like a set of books here. Uh, destined. Destined destined um this all looks like the same book <laughs> so they got six copies of it so they can read it you know every day of the week apparently it's not like it was autographed another was it that would be kind of cool if we actually got the uh, unit from the person and they autographed all their books and would they sign it in the front or would they sign it in the back i don't know they uh yeah, I have no idea, but we got we got several of these books now. That's got to be worth nothing. Um, is a training book maybe? Uh, Suzanne Summers. Um, yeah, she don't look like that no more. Um, what else we got? Fight Fat. All right, Woman's Edge book. I don't know. We'll look into that. And we've got this one here, which doesn't that look awfully familiar like that one that's there? So we got two of these, but this one's got stuff marked in it so there we go then we got a day runner planner organizer thing here brand newish with uh okay no predates that's interesting i mean somebody may may like that it is a plan ahead one so yeah all right then we got some other weird books and uh flat stanley book scholastics Faith sees spiritual stuff. All right, any of these uh, religious books, like Rick Warren's book, we will give away with, like we do with the Bibles, Cheesecake World, and uh, Purpose Driven Drive. So we got a couple of those, a little bit damaged, but it'll go to the flea market, and we'll give those away. Uh, Spanish verbs, don't know, don't know, and like I said, we'll we'll scan the books and see if these are worth these ones are worth in listing since I have them in a lot, or not, I have a lot of them. I can keep them all together and just post them for the six books. And uh, one listing, boom, done. All right, next we've got, uh, it says the 14 quart roaster pan. Good thing I brought my knife. You can look it up and that's, uh, that's what is in there, but it is kind of dirty. And I gotta make sure that the lid is in it. If the lid's not in there, then it ain't worth jack to nobody. So, let me see. She's not coming out easy, is she? All right, come on out. No lid there. Oh, the lid's in there. It's upside down in it. All right. Woo All right. And it is tight in there. Normally we like, but no. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Clean out right there. And uh, wipe her down there. And put her back in the box. And we'll get 15 to 20 bucks on that probably. That's a good size roaster, especially right now. Yeah, we like that. All right, next thing, we got a blue basket with a uh, Jacoby. Jacob. Yeah, Jacob. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's the, the Steelers, but it's got a little thing for them. Yeah, so it'll be right over there. And then the blue basket's kind of cool. Could be a laundry basket. Could be something else. All right, two totes. All right, we got some hangers, which we always love. We got a Snuggly. Uh, looks like it's factory sealed. The box is jacked up, so I have to take it out and check it to make sure it's not stained like the box is. But uh, 
Yeah, maybe there's a snuggle in it. And uh, you just see some coach purses. They, uh, I've never seen this particular pattern before, but this one needs to be clean, seriously cleaned. Trying to check it, uh, but yeah, with the mold and mildew, we'll have to throw it in the laundry. I mean, it says coach, it says coach on, on all the stuff, and it seems to be good, but I know that on, on a lot of the coach stuff, all the emblems have to have to line up, like on the seams and stuff. That's how they, they cut them, so it's, you know, centered and everything, but I don't know. I'll check into it more, because that's what you gotta do before you sell stuff. C9, little purse, uh, shoulder bag. Oh, here's a leather, a leather bag that's connected to something metal. Where's the metal thing just attaching itself? All right. All right, so we got a, we got a metal thing, and then we got a MC. Nice little, I don't know, it's not like a computer bag as much as maybe some kind of a purse. Full file holder book thing. Oh, there's another coach uh, handbag thing there. Could be real, could be fake. Fake, probably fake. And here's a notebook with all the important secret recipes for kfc chicken and uh some more hangers yes more hangers and now this one's empty but we're going to go into this one and now i have a transfer tote which you always like to have all right here is a nerf gun box i actually think i'm selling this gun online right now uh no the one i have is bigger yeah so that one's empty anyway all right this looks like uh uh bummer looks like more stuff that we don't need all right, here is, uh, yeah, there's, uh, I think he's one of the sharks. Isn't he one of the shark guys from the shark show? I don't know, the CDs or? All right, there's, uh, there's some CDs in there. So you can learn how to be a, a millionaire. <laughs> All right, here's some other books. I refuse to raise a Brett. All right, uh, Mary Lou Henner. I know I've heard of her before. Sounds really familiar. And uh, some more uh, books. Yes, we like that one. We like that one. Love those, actually. Love that book. Uh, not so much there. What else we got? All right, we've got uh, How to Train Your Dragon. We'll check that. The Meaning of Your Dreams. Weirdness, weirdness. And, yeah, okay. And that. And uh, How to Be Born Again. Billy Graham book. All right, we'll have to keep that one as a... Uh, good book keep it in either our personal collection or we will have to do check it out oh poor guy that one's going right in the trash if you believe and follow this idiot here the world is not the way he says sorry all right the world is how this guy says it is not that guy just smile all you want all the way to the bank with the, everybody's money but yeah all right i digress um yeah some weird stuff there I should probably look in the box. That would be better for you guys. Some frozen, some notebooks, some notebooks. Yeah, spiritual books. We do like spiritual books. As long as they're telling the truth. King James, another Bible. Another Holy Scriptures. We'll have to look at this one. This one could be uh, not one that we want to sell or give away or whatever. Um, dictionary. Sometimes dictionary sell. All right. This looks like a texty book. Ah, the Mirrors and Family Experience. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, I'll have to look that up. I don't know. There's a thingy, and a thingy, and then more thingies, and more thingies. And here's some uh, more thingy book thingies. So, yeah, there's a whole bunch of these little booklet thingies. So, maybe for kids learning stuff, that could be good. And there's a, a millions of $10, thousands of dollars. Uh, don't believe that it's real money. Yeah, I don't think so. It doesn't, doesn't appear to be, like, real. So maybe it's fake, fake. I'll look it up, though. You never know. All right, what else we got in here? We've got an old magazine and an old catalogy. And then, uh, here's a living book and our tax returns and, uh, cardboard, phone book. Nope. Yep, yellow pages. That was right. All right, uh, another book you can read. All right, here is a set of... Oh, boy. <clears throat> Animal friends and stuff. Child's first library of learning. I was looking for... It's a Time Warner series. I was looking for numbers. I don't see numbers. 
so I don't know if I have the whole set <laughs> but sometimes you can sell what you got online oh back in the book uh, Santa duck that'll sell right around now because you know Santa time has come and oh, here's another CD DVD okay this is the uh, CDs of uh, it's upside down I turned it in inside out and upside down you know uh, it's gonna take me forever okay so yeah I got uh, I got those on CD and oh, I got another one of his books I think I have some selling on uh, eBay right now so that'll be interesting and here's another one of his same book as before <laughs> here is another purpose driven life hardbound this time here's another booklet and it's empty so we got that going for us we got another one of those we had one of those in the other book thing kevin trudeau's uh they were selling that online before okay um god's best kept secrets all right we'll look into that one and here's another one of those so now we've got eight of those books and the first five years of marriage book we'll keep on looking at that one and what do we got we got some weird stuff and weird stuff and here's another living bible a little bit damaged but people who don't have one and need one they're not going to worry about one wrinkled page because what's on the pages is real all right see so that's good and that's good and that's gonna be it for there just some other little booklets and uh, some pictures and pictures and pictures and pictures and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and a bunch of books <clears throat> that i don't know what we're going to do with <laughs> but yeah that's going to be it for it so hopefully we can get our money back doubled which is what we like to do so we'll check out the snuggle uh we'll clean up uh this and test it and make sure it gets hot put it back in the box because that'll be good i think the box is in pretty good shape the table is in decent shape here, except for my knifey. Um, we got some books that are kind of in bulk amounts there. The uh, whew, the TV stand, that's going to be a tougher sell, especially with the speakers already in it. And we're going to have to clean it better and, uh, inside these little cubby holes and, and uh, test her out. But I think somebody will want it. I mean, it's a good, strong, heavy TV stand, and it's pretty good size. So even if they don't use the, the speakers that are built into it, it's still a good TV stand. The uh, box spring, check the size on that. Set it with some rails, take some pictures, boom, bang, boom. The uh, uh, mini fridge and freezer thingy, we're gonna test that. Looks pretty clean. And the freezer looks awesomely clean. We're gonna have to look into this one for the size and see what it sells for and get that bad boy listed as soon as we get it tested so that we can recoup our money. I mean, out of this, this, that should bring back uh, a good part of the money that we spent on the unit and put us into the profit. And then the little pot, the yeah, the little pot there and the TV stand and the little table thing. That'll be the rest of the money that we need to hopefully get within good range. Filing cabinet again, probably not going to be able to sell it too much. Um, we may take it out to the flea market, see if we can, uh, get rid of it for 15, 20 bucks or something. Probably end up taking less, but yeah. As long as it doesn't end up in our dead pile that's going to the dump stuff from all the last units. If you missed all the last units, that all is just beyond repair and stuff. So what we do is we strip off knobs and, uh, all the clips for shelving and stuff like that. We break it up all smaller and take it to our dump. Yeah, and we get rid of it all that way because it does nobody any good. Even if it's because it's too far gone with the water damage and everything else. So we are loaded up, ready for the flea market tomorrow. And now it can rain because we are done with this video. And now we can get everything out of here. So, you know, thank you, Lord, for that. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. If you like these videos, comment, of course. And I do try to respond to all the comments. We thank you for all of the new subscribers that we've been getting. We are almost to 500. I think the last time I checked, I was at like 482 or something, which is crazy, crazy for us because at the beginning of the year, we were, you know, like at 150, 160. So this is awesome, awesome, awesome. 
uh, th and a big shout out to like Josh uh, and his wife, the the bearded tornadoes, and uh, we just uh, appreciate him for giving us shout outs and sending uh, some of his people our way as well. So stay tuned for uh, up and coming stuff. We've got some other uh, unique videos planned as well that aren't necessarily going and picking up storage units i've got some debt pile uh, <laughs> uh videos that i'm trying to do and i'm also trying to up upload another or edit and upload another video about the flea markets for those of you who didn't know one of the flea markets that we go to was uh, closed down it was bought out by somebody and closed down so we had our last time out there selling so that was kind of a sad uh end to a 32 year reign over there but uh like i said i'm gonna hopefully be doing a little bit of video uh, for that. So as always, we will talk to you later.